Zebra did the double over Cardiff Blues last season and led by Sam Warburton, the Welsh side were keen to address that. The Blues struck first in Parma after an overthrown Zebra line-out. A fast break from inside their own half and some slick offloads put fly half Rhys Patchell in the clear and he managed to stretch his legs and get the first try, which Patchell himself converted. After a chip through caused confusion in the Zebra defence, Patchell gathered. A skillful offload sent Lloyd Williams under the posts. Patchell converted to make it 14-3 after just quarter of an hour. With Philo Paolo Sinbin for the Blues, Zebra grew into the game and were rewarded for their pressure when scrum half Brendan Leonard crossed for their first try. The conversion was missed, but the Italians were getting into their stride and scored a second try eight minutes before half-time flanker Filippo Ferrarini being pushed over. Patchell landed a huge penalty just before the break and going into the second half it was 17-15 to the Blues. The fly half was to bag 21 points in total. Zebre had a try ruled out by the TMO but from the resulting scrum they went ahead through winger Dion Berryman. The score at that point 20-17 to the Italians. But from then on, Cardiff were in the driving seat. First, a break down the right-hand side, where fullback Dan Fish took advantage of a dogleg in defence to then shimmy past the opposition fullback and score the Blues' third try. <coughs> Cardiff then chased their bonus point, and they got it. Another overlap on the right wing, and the ball ended up in the arms of Wales and Lions winger Alex Cuthbert, who finished easily. Any issues, Stefano? Keen to avenge those two defeats to Zebre last season, the Blues kept going and from a scrum, substitute hooker Christian Dacey picked up from a few metres out and scored their fifth try of the match. A bonus point win for new Blues director of rugby Mark Hammett and Cardiff find themselves joint top of the table after the opening weekend. And there's plenty more rugby still to come on Sky Sports in the coming days. Two sides struggling in the top 14 at the moment, La Rochelle against Castro just to win a piece. Uh, between those two, that is 6.55 on Friday, that's on Sky Sports 2, the Rugby Club will follow that. On Saturday we're in Dublin at the RDS as Leinster look to get their first win of the season as they take on the Scarlets from 2.30, that's on Sky Sports 1 and later on in the evening, what a tie. Toulon, leaders in the top 14 of course take on the Glamour Boys of Paris, Stade Francais and that is a 7.30 start and you can catch it on Sky Sports 3.